All right, let's talk about the forecast. So we started off the day not looking like this. We got more sunshine than I was actually anticipating out there across the upstate, but the clouds have definitely started to roll in. This is a live look at Spartanburg right now. It is overcast outside and kind of warm sitting in the low 70s right now. Dew points Kind of, in the, kind of in the middle of the road. We have a little bit of moisture out there. All the moisture at the moment is more higher up in the atmosphere where, of course, we have those clouds. But again, saw a lot of sunshine today. Those high temperatures kind of exceeded expectations in a way. We made it up to 79 in Greenville and Spartanburg. 77 was the high today in Anderson. Even made it to 80 towards Elberton. Low 70s and upper 60s up towards the mountains for highs today. But now we're switching gears towards a more wet weather pattern, and the rain is already starting to show up on live Super Doppler 4 HD. Here's a closer look at it across the mountains up into parts of uh, Wayne and Haywood counties near Waynesville. We're getting some light rain, more light rain starting to work its way into Transylvania County and western uh, Henderson County, about to pick up on some light rain in Hendersonville. And further down to the south, rain coverage not quite as scattered, but some little tiny dots of rain showing up across uh, parts of Lake Keel and just south of Lake uh, Jocassi moving into places like Pickens. And there is plenty more of where that came from. We've got a lot of wet weather happening down to the southwest of us. A lot of severe storms happening now in uh, near Jackson, Mississippi, a lot of which are producing some pretty large hail, potentially up to golf ball sized hail, according to some of the video I've seen on Twitter, and then more severe thunderstorms down to the south. Now, the good news is we're missing out a lot of a lot of the uh, severe weather, a lot of the really deep tropical moistures further down to the south. You can see those air masses colliding. That's why the storms are happening. Uh, but we will pick up on a lot of heavy rain over the next 24 hours. Here's a look at it hour by hour. By 1030, rain pretty much covering the entire viewing area and heavy in some at times in some of these pockets that we see here developing. And it will be enough to maybe produce some localized flooding. Check this out by 3 a.m. Torrential downpours potentially across parts of uh, Greenville and Spartanburg counties. It continues into tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Still looking at a lot of heavy rain, potentially on the order of one to three inches in total. We could be seeing some locally higher amounts. So the big thing you need to take away is if you're driving tomorrow morning, do it with extra caution. Remember to turn around. Don't drown. If you see ponding on the roadways, don't even bother trying to drive through it. And once we get to tomorrow, Tomorrow evening, most of that rain exits the area and the colder air starts to take over back behind the cold front. Cold enough for the 30s uh, early Tuesday morning. Here's a look at those rainfall totals. Again, these have gone up in the latest model run that we have here. Three to four inches of rain possible across parts of Anderson, Lawrence, uh, Greenville and Spartanburg County. So that flood risk will be there. So again, heavy rain tonight into tomorrow morning with localized flooding possible. That'll be tapering off tomorrow afternoon. And then beyond that, colder air starts moving in tomorrow night as temperatures drop into the, 30, the 30s and 40s. So the next four days looks like this. Heavy rain tomorrow, clearing out by the afternoon and evening, turning sunny and cooler Tuesday. It's nothing but sunshine for the remainder of the week. And the good news is the cool spell is short lived. We're back up into the mid 70s and eventually the low 80s by Thursday and Friday of the upcoming week.